everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought you could all spend the afternoon with me as I am getting ready to fly to Boracay tomorrow. I am so, so, so excited. It is one of the places that we have had so many people tell us that we need to go and explore since we moved out here to the Philippines. So many Filipinos love Boracay and one white beach it has been rated one of the best beaches in the world so we are extremely excited we are currently watching the weather like a hawk i know that there might be a typhoon on the way i am really hoping that it misses all of the philippines but i know an area in the philippines has been hit so to everybody in that area i am sending my love i do hope that you all are safe and well and that everything can get rebuilt again soon but yeah so we are keeping our fingers crossed that the weather is going to be absolutely fine so i need to start with doing the packing i currently have a load of washing on and i need to do another load of washing and then we need to go and get some last minute bits so we're going to go across to sm aura so i thought i would just bring you all with us if anybody has any recommendations of things to do in boracay this video will be uploaded when we are actually in boracay and we still have a few days left so any recommendations of places to eat activities to do i would love to see all of your recommendations in the comments so that we don't miss out on all of the amazing things so let's get this suitcase out and let's start packing find that they have suitcases inside suitcases because <laughs> we always do so the mini case suitcase that was inside this one always has a lot of our holiday things in so i need to keep two of the straps out just because we bought all black suitcases and they are impossible to find i'm also going to pack these so these are waterproof phone cases and these are good for when going out on the boats. Um, I might try and get some underwater footage, but I can't guarantee that it's gonna be the best quality. I also have mounts for my cameras, so I'll take those. And then you've gotta take some card games. So we're gonna take Uno and just a normal pack of cards. I've got my DJI Osmo tripod so we'll take that also then even though these are so ugly they are quite useful so I will take those just in case but when we went to El Nido we didn't use them but I prefer to have the option and then I've got some instant cooling spray and some travel wash we're going to take this bigger case we have paid for one 20 kilogram case the most important thing is that I have got some swimwear. So I've got two swimming costumes. For on an evening, I've got two pairs of jeans. I know people probably think that's ridiculous, but I love wearing my jeans. So I will be taking them. So I've got my black jeans and my white jeans and then for during the day i've got two pairs of white shorts i'm taking both because i will guarantee that i will get a mark on these so i can't wear them two days in a row i have my favorite black skirt which is from uniqlo which just goes with everything and it looks nice during the day and on an evening I've got a black silk skirt and then I've just got another skirt but this one is in white. So they're all of like my bottom pieces. I then have this little um, play suit which I'm going to take and then I think I'm actually going to travel in 
this dress. It's really comfy and it doesn't dig in anywhere. So when we're waiting about sitting, that will be perfect. So I'll leave that to the side. They've got two um, just like thin shirts to go on top of outfits or for like when I'm on the boat. Or if I get a little bit burnt, then I can put those on. And then I've got a massive selection of tops, which I'm just gonna chuck in here. I could do with only really using half of this side up so that I can fit Chris's clothes in. I'm putting Chris's swim shorts, and then he's um, he's got some nice shorts. Let me see where they are. So he's got these ones. and some navy ones these are from uniqlo and they're really really nice and then i'm just gonna let him go through his t-shirts and work out what tops he wants as he's wanting to get some more tonight so it'll be easier for him to go through work out which ones he wants to then see how many more we need to get tonight toiletries wise i picked up these Tresemme um, shampoo and conditioner from Watson's because they're a nice size. I've got my giant makeup bag, my contact lenses. I've got sun cream, after sun, and sun cream for the face. Because me and Chris, we just burn so, so easily. It's an absolute pain. So I've added a few more bits to the suitcase here. I've added some shoes and a couple of toiletry bits. Um, but we are just about to go to SM Aura. So I will bring you with us. started in H&M I think we've found some jeans but we're just going to keep looking Chris isn't too sure exactly what he wants he wears quite basic clothes like me so just like neutrals staple capsule wardrobe kind of thing is what we're looking for I think we've had success with an outfit. I just need to get some shorts that are a little bit smaller for him. So fingers crossed we'll get there. I've got the goods. We'll go to the changing rooms now. We have now come into Bershka. I'm just waiting for Chris. As you can tell, there's some very cool mirrors in here. We have just come to High Street to go to Sarah and it is so busy.
we have finally made it to Zara. We have made it to Zara. It's so nice to just get out of the chaos of the high street. High street on a weekend is just intense. We found a couple of t-shirts, so Chris is just trying those on now and I have grabbed a seat to sit down. Hopefully these two t-shirts fit and then we've got everything that we need and we're going to go back and order some food. I am ready for a nap. Shopping is exhausting. We have just got back. It was a mission success. Chris is now ordering us some food. I have just grabbed my food. It is 11 o'clock at night. I'm gonna eat this and go to bed. I have just put the last of the electricals on charge. You can see a couple behind me there. And I am going to bed. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video. And I will be back in a few days, hopefully, fingers crossed, with some Boracay videos, as long as everything goes well. We've planned to get up extra early in the morning just to keep an eye on the weather. It's forecast it's going to start raining from about half past six in the morning. And we fly at, it's either 10 or 11 o'clock. So I'm really hoping that we can get a taxi to the airport and everything's going to be smooth sailing and we can get to Boracay and the weather is going to be really, really nice. So fingers crossed. Thank you again. If you haven't already, please follow me on my other platforms and I'll see you later. Bye.